Hello everyone. Welcome to this video series on Web Technologies Lab. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to do program two. So what they are asking me in program two is they are asking us to write JavaScript for validating the information that is available in registration page. So in the previous program, that is program one, we have developed or created four pages, right? So the fourth page is registration page. Okay. So they are asking us to validate the information that we are sending using registration page. Okay. Right. So that is program two. So what is the validation they are asking is they are saying the first name should contain only alphabets and the length should be uh, should not be less than six characters. So the name we are going to enter should contain at least six characters. And then they are asking the password should not be less than six characters. So a password should be minimum six characters and more. Okay. And they are saying last name and address should not be empty. Okay. And email ID should not contain any invalid. I mean, the format should be like this only. It should not be following any other format, right? And finally, the mobile number should contain 10 digits only. It should not be less than 10 digits and should not be more than 10 digits. It should contain exactly 10 digits. So this is the validation they are asking us to do. So before going to that, uh, I would like to tell you the use of JavaScript. So originally JavaScript was a client-side uh, scripting language. Okay, JavaScript was originally a client-side scripting language. So what is the typical use of JavaScript is it is used to perform validation like we are going to do in this program. And also it is used to create dynamic HTML. Okay, JavaScript can be used to create something called as dynamic HTML. That means after the page is loaded into the web browser, uh, if you want to make any changes to the web browser, like changing the color of the background or when you click a button, an image should be displayed. These things are called as dynamic HTML. So those things can be done using JavaScript. So later on, uh, they have extended this client side uh, JavaScript to server side also. So nowadays JavaScript is used on server side also, right? Okay. So before going to look at the demonstration, uh, like and subscribe the video and also share it with your friends, right? So let's go to the demonstration. So here is the registration page that we have created in program one. Okay, so what do I mean by validation is, so for example, if I don't fill anything in this and I click on login button uh, okay this should be submit not login mm. so if you just change this to submit yeah submit okay now if i if i am not giving any data here right it is all empty so even if it is empty and i click submit it is accepting it okay it is not showing any error in fact it should show some errors right Okay, so that kind of thing is called as validation. Okay, and that validation we are going to do using JavaScript. So this is the registration page, right? Which we have done in program one. So I'm going to make some changes here to this code. So in the head under the title tag, I am going to write a new tag called script. Okay. So the script tags can be used uh, to link external JavaScript with our uh, HTML page. Okay, I am going to use script tag to link external JavaScript code to my HTML page, right? So how do you specify the external file means using an attribute called SRC. SRC means source, okay, which is going to specify the name of the JavaScript file. So the name of the JavaScript file I'm going to use is validate.js. 
So this thing is my JavaScript file. Extension of JavaScript is .js. Okay. So this is the opening script tag, and immediately I will close the script tag like this. Okay. So what is the purpose of writing this? To link external JavaScript code with HTML page. Okay. Right. Mm. And here I am going to take this action tag and I am going to write something called on submit. So this is another attribute for the form tag. That means when I click the submit button, what is going to happen? Okay. So we have the submit button, right? When I click this button, what should happen? That is specified here. So on submit, I am checking uh, a function called validate. Okay, and that to the return value of that function. So where is this function? Don't worry, I will write this function inside JavaScript. Okay, we will see later. But the function name is validate. Okay, right. And for all these input it input I mean input elements, I am going to write ID also. Okay, the same thing I am going to write in ID. So ID means identifier. Okay. So you can just copy paste and change it to ID. Okay, so this is not for this password. Okay, so this one is email only name is change of id uh, so this is also not l name this is mobile i think i forgot to change in the last program so id should not be same okay id should be different unique okay txt mobile and this is id okay and address okay for address we didn't give any name but just let's give id mm, txt address okay so what did i do is i just added ids for all input fields okay and remember that id means identifier and it should be unique for all the input elements no no two id should be same Okay, so that's it. These are the modifications that should be done for the register.html page. So I have included these script tags. Okay, and also for the form, inside the form tag, I have wrote on submit equal to return validate. So validate is a function which, which we will write in validate.js file. We will see it later. And for each input element, I have added IDs. And one more thing uh, that I want to change is I want to remove this closing label tag and I want to place it here. For each input element, I am taking this closing label tag and we are placing it here. So this is the correct way of using the labels. Okay. So in the previous program, I didn't do that. So I am doing it now. Just remove this closing label and place it after the input element. Okay, and finally the address and here okay so just let's refresh the page so nothing is changing okay so even if i click submit it is still accepting and not showing any error messages because we didn't write the javascript okay now let's write the javascript and see what happens so i am stopping this video here and in the next video i am going to tell you how to write the javascript Okay, thank you.